Welcome, everybody, to the WNBA Bank Shop presented by the Fantasy Boutique. Uh, my name is Ant, and I'm here to kick off uh, WNBA season. We're super excited that uh, we have some WNBA hoops coming at you and some slates that are going to be super awesome. Uh, we're going to start the season off with a one-game slate, and that's going to be between the Phoenix Mercury and the Dallas Wings. And uh, both these teams are really fun to watch, and I think they both got better in the offseason with their additions to their lineups. Really pumped on seeing how these teams progress. They were both pretty much mid-pack. I think they were both, I want to say one was 18 and 16, one was 16 and 18 last year. So uh, fairly similar um, records from last year, but I think uh, I think that's going to change. I think actually uh, one of these teams can probably move up uh, the ranks this year and, uh, and really be a, a good-looking team this year. So um, with all that being said, over at the DFSBoutique.com, you can sign up for our yearly package, which is $90. Bucks. Um, that is 13 to 14 weeks plus the playoffs. Um, so you'll be getting all the uh, members in uh, members data and also uh, into Slack for our WNBA page and uh, have all of the info you need to uh, to make some really cool um, you know, lineups and, and really have a good chance at cashing on a frequent basis and hopefully um, with some really big results like we had last year. And then um, you can also sign up for a weekly. I believe that is $10 a month or $10 a week right now. Um, so you're saving, you know, quite a bit of money by going with the season long package. But if you want to do a week package and see how it goes and go week to week, definitely feel free. Like I said, you can sign up for both those over at the DFS boutique.com and um, let's kick off the slate. So, uh, first player we're going to talk about is the person that I think is going to be probably fairly high owned, but also definitely a good pick. Um, she is ranked first or second in my, um, my preliminary projections. And, uh, that's Brittany Griner at, uh, 13,900 on DK and 12,000 on FanDuel. She will cost you money, but she will definitely be worth it in, um, her ability to basically do a little bit of everything, pass, uh, shoot, steals, blocks. So she has a number of ways that she can rack up points for you. And uh, I definitely think she is going to be needed to cash on this slate, um, especially her price isn't too overbearing. I think it will definitely go up as the season um, goes by in these uh, these one-game slates. But I uh, definitely think you – should look at getting her in your roster, especially because you can definitely get in a lot of other players that will help you win as well in that um, in that price range. So, and then uh, next up, we're gonna stay on uh, stay on the Mercury, and we're gonna go with Sancho Little, uh, the addition that they had from um, on the off season, bringing her in. Um, I expect her to do really well off the bat, um, especially with uh, Griner in. I think she's going to get a little less attention, so she'll be able to do a little bit more. And um, she is 8,700 on DK, 8,000 on FanDuel. Uh, she is uh, pretty highly uh, highly projected in my uh, my preliminaries, um, looking top five in both. And I definitely think she can uh, she can definitely help your teams um, on both sites. And uh, I actually have her, I think, projected a little higher on FanDuel. Be based on their scoring, so um, definitely look for her to be a really good key piece in your uh, roster. Next up, we have Skylar Diggins Smith. Uh, should it come as no surprise, she is a super talented player in the WNBA. And um, at twelve thousand eight hundred on DK and ten thousand five hundred on FanDuel, you're looking at um, getting a good amount of points for her in both. Um, which I think she, uh, yeah, she is in. T- she's in my top five, projection wise, um, for both sites, and I think she's. Uh, she could actually outdo these projections. I feel like I might have, might have been a little tame on her ability, um, but she did have a little bit of a slow start last year. But uh, I expect her to get back out and and um, really do some big things this year, and especially with some of the additions they've added to their. Um, to their roster, I think that's going to help her uh, accumulate points um, in a really, really good way. So, and then uh, last but not least, we have Christmas Kelly, 
from the Dallas Wings as well. She is 6,600 on DraftKings, 6,000 on FanDuel, and um, have her highly projected as well. And I think her price point is going to be something that uh, I think some people might overlook. Also, um, might go, you know, with other players on her own team who are slightly higher priced on some of these sites. Um, and uh, but I think, again, I think she's gonna put up some big points. And um, and I have her projected over most of the other players that are in or much higher priced um, range on those sites. And so she will be a place where you will be able to steal some points and uh, steal some salary relief. So um, those are the four that I think you can definitely look at plugging in your lineup and making really good plays out of those. Um, definitely look for uh, for those four to be key components of pretty much any winning lineup come Friday. So um, with that being said, that's going to be the end of the first video of the season. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching this video and, uh, good luck out there cashing. And again, if you want to join, um, the DFS boutique for the WNBA package, go over the DFS boutique.com, click the package and, uh, and we'll get you all squared away. So till next time, I'll see you and, uh, good luck.